This is the studio. I feel like our plan. It's the 28th of January. Finally coming together. We didn't really want to stop there. All in what you call the main thing. What you hear in between the songs that play. Papa John's <laughs> also. <laughs> This is the desk. This is where everything is played out of. That's our music system, beds, clips, audio. Dave is slowly turning into a pizza. Nice way of putting it. <laughs> I thought that was so fun. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to a day in the life. I've never done one of these, but um, I'm thinking it might be quite fun. It's the 28th of January, a Thursday, and it is Dave's birthday. Dave is my co-presenter over on Capital. You, you literally just missed this, but it's also Roman Kemp's birthday, coincidentally, and Roman Kemp does Capital Breakfast. I'm sure you'll know he's incredibly famous. And we just watched a video that Capital have uploaded where they've brought the Batmobile to Leicester Square, where Roman Kemp is based, because apparently when Roman was a child, uh, a toy Batmobile was his favorite present. I have not managed to do that for you, Dave. What I have managed to do, or at least what I'm trying to do, is arrange for three different pizza delivery companies to deliver three separate pizzas during the three different hours of our show. Does that make sense? You can dress it up all you like, it's not about a bill. <laughs> no, it's not, no, it's not. I'm trying to arrange for three pizzas. <laughs> it's just... When you've got the Batmobile and you've got Sunny J in a Robin costume and you've got Sean in a Catwoman oh. costume. I feel... You've got Domino's, Papa John's and Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yeah, I know. Well, I thought it was quite a good idea. In theory. <laughs> until they got, until they got a Batmobile. Yes, we know. It's really impressive. Ah. <laughs> Why don't we put some stickers on the polo? Oh my God. What can I do? I'm actually starting to panic a little bit now. Because yours is rubbish compared to it, it wasn't rubbish until the Batmobile happened. Look, for context, Dave loves pizza. Like last year for his birthday, he threw himself a pizza party. <laughs> like, <laughs> pizza. True, true story, a pizza themed party. <laughs> so I was like, right, great. Well, during the show, he'll just get pizza delivered every hour that we're on air from four till seven. Smashed it. Had these companies say, yeah, we can do that. That's great. They literally have a car with flames coming out the back of it. I'm feeling mildly stressed. Anyway, that's just one part, one element of today is Dave's birthday. It is just a normal day in my life. So I'm just gonna sh show you kind of what we get up to. So yeah, my broadcast on the South Coast, so Capital South Coast, which covers, actually let's test Tristan. Where does it cover Trist? Brighton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you cover Chichester. No one can see your beautiful face. Brighton, Chichester. Um, I don't actually know if we covered well, well, it's Portsmouth to, through Gosport to Southampton, Bournemouth. You go north pretty much to Basingstoke, I think is your TSA. And Winchester. Yeah, yeah, inclusive. but obviously Basingstoke is further north. Basically, if you took a map of the UK and you went down to the bottom, never eat shredded wheat, and slightly over to the west, but not Cornwall. No. Yeah, you go slightly west. Yeah, more west, it's, more west, west than, it's more west than east. I don't Google feel TSA. like my geography is good enough to be explaining this to you. But that's what we broadcast to. So we broadcast there Mondays to Fridays, four till seven. And we have been doing that, well, Dave and myself have been doing that since April 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's now currently 2021, if you're watching this way, way, way in the future. Um, so yeah, we love our little show. I used to do breakfast. I used to do Capital Brighton with Dave again. And those hours were hellish. I would have to wake up at about 4.40 every day. And it damn well nearly killed me. 4.40, you're such a presenter. What time did you used to wake up? Because Trissy, okay, so Trissy used to assistant produce on a different station parts, but in a different area, so in the Midlands. So same thing, different place. So I would park up Broad Street and then walk back down towards the office at like 5 a.m. Oh. When there were still people, I would bump into friends of mine on nights out it's, drunk. Right, cause, okay, so I used to cover in Birmingham a little bit as well. It's the weirdest, weirdest thing when you are rocking up to work and there are people wrapping up their nights out. Because Broad Street in Birmingham is like the strip. It's where all the clubs are, all the bars are. It's where all the students go. I would book taxis from my house the day before and I'd call up the company and I'd be like, yo, I need a taxi to Broad Street at 5 a.m. And they'd say, no, you mean, you mean from Broad Street to your house? 
No, 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 no. I mean, from my house to Broad Street, and they just couldn't believe that anybody in their right sane state of mind would want to travel to Broad to Broad Street at five a.m. I still can't believe it's a thing anyway. I know. I did it. Yeah, I mean, what I will say is breakfast hours in general are absolutely horrific. They are brutal. Some people are born to do it. I was not one of those people. Like, my throat was always so croaky. I was always tired. I still have, like, really temperamental skin, but my skin was just on one. It was so bad. Um, so I'm quite grateful now to be doing Drive. Nice little cushy afternoon show. Get the whole morning to put the world to rights, run errands, plan the show, everything. Do the show, and then get home by, like, half seven. It's lovely. So, I guess that's kind of introduced everything because I realise I've never properly mentioned radio on this channel at all. I'm really stressed about the day. It is very funny. I, I want to make it bigger and better. Oh, I look like a potato. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because of the I, Batmobile. I just find it really funny that Network have got Dave a Batmobile. Not Dave, and Roman. So That's I just the find problem. it really funny that Network have got Roman a Batmobile. <laughs> you guys on the south <laughs> coast just there like, Get him pizza. But what I will say is that Roman isn't going to get to eat the Batmobile. He's going to get a couple of cool photos with it, film it for his stories. They might let him drive around once. Dave is going to get a substantial amount of pizza. Okay, Trisha's now going on to Roman's Instagram to look at the Batmobile situation. Okay, I'm going to make this coffee. I also need to shower and dice and air wrap my hair because I'm one of those people now. They literally have got food for them. Mm. I'm sorry, but like loads of pizza. I thought that was great. I thought that was so fun. They've got a Batmobile. <laughs> so, just in case you're really into coffee like us, we have been using a milk frother for basically as long as I've known Tristan because one of the many wonderful things that he brought into my life uh, when we got together is this. He already had it and he was like, yo, stop putting normal milk into your coffee because it could just be so much nicer and he was not wrong. so far. Hi baby. Look at that big round butt. Look at that big round butt. My head is small. My ears are small. My eyes are small. My hand is big. Boop, boop. So this is my setup where I spend most of my mornings just doing little jobs. As you can see my laptop has kindly reminded me that is Dave Gooding's birthday. Okay so what I need to do is log on to what we call the show map, which basically is an online document that me, Dave, and our two producers, uh, Zoe and Rosie, can all edit. And the show map, I'll show you in a sec, but it's basically a long document that's split into kind of like a table with different timings down the left. And as you go across, you fall into what is called a link. And a link is what you hear in between the songs that are playing on the radio. So Camille Cabello finishes, the radio presenter talks at you for like 30 seconds, and then you go into Justin Bieber, that bit where they were speaking. That is called a link. And the music that plays under it, if it's not a song, is called a bed. So we use the show map to basically plan what we're gonna say in the links. And you don't necessarily like script it word for word, you just need like a general idea of what you're gonna be talking about because the worst thing is coming out of a song, putting the mic up and being like, I don't know where I'm going with this. And that is when bad radio is made. So yeah, we kind of- Although some people do do that. Some people do do that and then it makes brilliant radio. Each to their own, I suppose it depends how talented you are. You are very good at just speeding off. Improvising. Yeah, you're like, you're... Thank you. You don't need, I mean, it's good to have some pointers because you know where you're going, but you don't yeah. need it. I know times where you've realised that you've got an extra minute on a link and you've talked about the weather for a minute. See, I would argue that that is not great radio. That was de that was, I was desperation. Invested. I was invested. Well, it depends how interesting you can make the weather sound, doesn't it? If you're just saying it's a little bit grey outside, no one cares about that. If you tell a really long anecdote about how you once got lost in a snowstorm, people might be quite invested. I was um, invested. 
You're invested, thank you. Well, you're my fiance, you have to be invested. I'm filling this in. I've tried to get to it a little bit earlier than Dave because it's his birthday. I don't want him to open the show map and be like, oh, Miranda's not done any work or any prep yet. So I'm gonna try and fill in as much as I can. But yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here you go. Here's a little demonstration. So as you can see, we've got the time here, so 4 p.m. And then these are all the different links. So you've got a speed link. That is basically a crunch and roll. Crunch and roll is when you come off the back of one song and go straight into the other. So you've got a long outro on the song. You know, it's fading out nicely. You're back announced. You're like, oh, that was Ariana Grande Positions playing on Capitol. Sounding beautiful. Hope you're having a good Thursday, etc., etc. And by the point that Ariana finishes, your new song starts. And then you've got a nice little introduction, say, on... Give me an artist, Dua Lipa, she'll do. New rules. Now we've got Dua Lipa new rules. You've got an interbreak, ITB. That is when you're going into a break. Makes sense, doesn't it? So you finish the song. Generally, these links are a little bit shorter um, and you kind of like just, I don't know, you just want to back announce, a little bit of sense of day, what's going on in the world, throw forward to what you're talking about later on in the show and then you hit the ads and then you've got the content links and these are a little bit beefier. So these you want um, to usually be around a minute long and they can be kind of whatever you want to talk about as long as it's relevant and as long as it's engaging and fun. Um, yeah, it's all good. And you have to wrap up and back time to a particular time on the clock and that's when you hand back over to the other show. Um, producer Rosie, absolute babe, gives us all this uh, like prep stuff beforehand. So here at the top is your sense of day. So this is kind of what's going on in the world. Like I said, obviously Dave's birthday, number one, top liner. And then you've got prep stuff. So these are just artists we're playing, things that they're doing at the moment. Can spy a little bit of Shawn Mendes, Sagala. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna be filling out. something to do with the date, something to do with things going on in the world when Dave was born. There must be some kind of like fun game that I can come up with where he's guessing stuff. I mean, let's have a look. Uh, celebrity birthdays, Roman Kemp, Elijah Wood and Jessica Ellis Hill. Bit niche. 28th of January, is it? Like, what is today? Oh my God. On this day in 1986, the US Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. Historical events on January the 28th. There's a fire during a Royal Ball in Paris. So why is it all really like depressing? What news is missing? Oh, Jane Austen. What? Pride and Prejudice is published. He doesn't even know what Pride and he doesn't know who Jane Austen is. Do you, Dave? Do you? What, what about if I did like a, a pizza themed quiz? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Roman got fat with me. I got a pizza themed quiz. Fucking hell. Content link one. We are coming out of Fake Friends and we are going into Wellerman, Nathan Evans, the sea shanty. Sea <laughs> <laughs> So the pizza drama continues. Pizza Express just called me. I gave them Dave's address and they're going to send Dave a make your own pizza kit. Uh, that is so lovely. I think the lady, was she called Millie? Yeah, Millie, absolute babe. Thank you so much, Millie, for sorting that out. Producer Zoe says, oh my God, that's amazing. I love this, like a pizza party of his own. Yes, exactly. See, positivity. We've actually contacted Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Pizza Express, Domino's. And I think all but Domino's got back to us. And everyone's been so lovely. They've been so kind. Yeah, that is where we're at. I think I might shower now though and dry my hair because I just look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. All right, I just got out of the shower and we've had an email come through to confirm that Pizza Hut are definitely going to be delivering a pizza. So that's exciting. I am starting to lose track of what's coming when and who said yes. But I think as it stands, Pizza Express are sending a make your own kit to Dave. Pizza Hut are delivering a pizza to the studio at maybe about 3.40, so just before the show starts. Producer Zoe and myself have ordered a Domino's. That's coming, I think, at about half six. And we're just waiting to get confirmation from Papa John's, who in theory should be coming at around about 4.30. 
in case you're interested, let me show you what I'm using on my skin at the moment. I have like kind of acne prone skin combination. It's not particularly dry, but it's also not particularly oily. And I tend to find that a lot of products dry my skin out. And when my skin dries out, it really aggravates the spots. So literally in the last week, I've started using this. It is called Paula's Choice. You might have seen it advertised on, you know, like the ads before a YouTube video starts. There you go. It's everywhere. I kept seeing it. I'm a sucker for an advert, so I bought it. <laughs> this is my old faithful friend. It's called um, Pure Lagoon, and it's from the brand Tropic, who I love. This is the first brand that I ever used, which managed to help my skin and not make it worse. A lot of the acne treatments tend to dry your skin out, and like I said, dry skin equals more spots. Um, so I used to just have a couple of drops of this. You don't want to... Oof, nearly spills it. You don't want to overdo it. Because again, it can dry your skin out and that is the last thing that we want. But it's all natural, which I tend to find the fewer chemicals for me, the absolute better. So I just put that all over. Um, this thing, I think, is supposed to unblock your pores from the inside out. I think. It's like a, yeah, a liquid exfoliant. Salicylic, salic, salicylic acid. Christ. If this is clearing your skin, this is going to soak in a little bit better. So that's good. Then I go on with a tropic vitamin toner. There you go. This smells gorgeous. Spray it. And then finally, this is the Tropic Skin Feast Nourishing Cream Concentrate. This is what I use as my moisturiser. Hi. I've just shown everybody what I'm Yo, using. Olaplex. No, it's Olaplex and that goes on my hair. Silly, but I will show that to show you. Show me lotions and potions. Here you go. So um, this is in an attempt to help my hair before the wedding. We're getting married in October 2022. So I have time to give myself luscious, hydrated, long, beautiful locks. Fingers crossed. So I've started using the Olaplex uh what's like treatment you know you just like put it on for like half an hour i've been using that and then this is their bonding oil it's a number seven and i pop that on before i drive drive my hair dry my hair with my dyson air wrap which i got for christmas from my mom and it's just amazing <laughs> each of the tongs that you use to dry your hair if you want to get like waves and curls you have arrows on them can you see that there we go and you want the arrow to be pointing away from your head and that's how you know that you're using the correct tong because you get one for each side and i found that very confusing when i first started using the dice last up here do you think i look glamorous you look lovely darling thank you i have a new top on do me do your top Hang you on. look fabulous ready yeah so these jeans are from new look and my top is from and other stories the end yeah, yeah. is that good are you zooming in on my face you're zooming in on my face aren't you nope you are i know you, you are aren't you no in my boobs are you doing that? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say there are um, people who like really commit and they take photos in the studio of their outfits every day. I know Amanda Holden does it, Kelly Brook does it, Emmy Vivian does it, all at banging. I'm just well, most of the time I'm wearing a hoodie and leggings. Most of the time you're wearing my hoodie and leggings. Your hoodie, yeah. I've commandeered your hoodie and all Primark leggings. 
and a lot of the time I also just can't be bothered, plus we're social distancing so there's no one to take the photo. Is this Riddle the problem? Me that? Yeah, what am I supposed to do? So it's five to two. I need to leave, hello Kishio, I need to leave pretty soon. Um, usually I'd have a sandwich, however. This is great content. <laughs> Do you think I'd have a sandwich? Because normally, <laughs> I'd have a sandwich, okay? <laughs> why, but... do you, why do you sound like um, David Williams in Little Britain? Okay. Yeah, that's not the point. The point is that you usually have a sandwich, but we're having lots of pizzas delivered to the studio today, but they are technically Dave's pizzas. Oh, I'm so jealous of having pizzas, I forgot well, yeah, about but that. Guess what's on them? What? Pepperoni. All of them. Well, most of them. I tried to sneak in a little margarita. You can read pepperoni, it's fine. You think so? Yeah. We're, we're doing vegetarian January and we've done so well. We haven't eaten any meat for the whole of this month so far. So I'm not giving in just on Dave's birth. Well, I don't give in, but I just think that if you remove the pepperoni, it's fine. You think so? Just be a little you're bit not, You're not like an allergy, is it? No, no. Okay. I would like some pizza brought home. Well, in theory, we're having one, two, three. Hang on. One, two, three, four. At least five pizzas. Can I have one brought home for me? Not a whole one. Why? They're Dave's birthday present. It is absolutely pouring with rain. It is so grim. Um, and if you're new to my channel, then you might not know. Although, have I ever mentioned it? I'm not sure. I don't really like driving. I didn't have a great experience with an old driving instructor. And so Tress had to reteach me how to drive on motorways. So driving in the rain isn't that fun. Although I'm far more confident than I ever used to be. I'm not bad. I'm not a bad driver. I'm a nervous driver and there's a difference. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I will catch you on the other side. All right, welcome to Sexy Sessions. So this is where Capital South Coast uh, broadcasts from. It's not that glamorous, but it does the job, and it's like my second home. So I will show you around. This is Sessions. As you can see. It is completely empty because everyone's at home, social distancing, which is very sad. Oh, hey, Hoxie, do you want to be in my vlog? Hi. 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 Hoxie of News. Oh, hi. I have a football club. Johnny of News. Look at, look at everyone. Hello. 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 I thought I'd film today because it's Dave's birthday. And in theory, we are getting pizzas delivered from Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, and then he's get. I know we went all out, and then he's getting like a make your own pizza kit from Pizza Express. Wait, we're having all of this pizza. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Johnny's face is just like, like, stop, stop, stop. What? This is the studio. It comes with a free producer mat. I say free. You are paid, obviously. Oh. So yeah, here you go. This is what it looks like. Amy Vivian is currently on air, so that's a lovely photo of her. When we're on air, we will replace it, a photo of me and Dave. And this is the desk. So this is where everything, oh, someone's already got here first with a present. This is where everything is played out of. That's our music system, the beds, clips, audio, everything plays out of there. And these are the faders that control the volume. And there you go, easy as pie, very nice. Zozo. See, producer Zoe, safe at home in these times, but you know, still controlling the ship. Oh, love it, love it, WFH. Look what Matt has got. So we're gonna decorate the desk with these, because obviously, as you've gathered by now, Dave loves pizza. And apparently the person gave you a very funny look when you bought them all. Yes. I feel awful, I didn't even realize that this is on the screen. Happy birthday, Dave Giddings. How cute is that? Uh, this was when we met David Guetta and did a little interview with him. That was ages ago. Dave's nan, bless her, and girlfriend Gemma. <gasps> oh my god, decorations! Yes, 50th birthday! Oh, it's so appropriate! <laughs> I mean, congratulations for, <laughs> for managing 27 years on this planet. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Oh my god, my eye! You go in your eye, you okay? Pop went in my eye. How old are these balloons? An accident in the workplace that wasn't his fault. The <laughs> injury noise for you. A hard balloon popped in my eye. <laughs> Get a grip. Look who's here, it's a birthday <laughs> boy! Yay! You arrived before we finished putting all your so, banners up. So. And I was late. <laughs> and, yeah, no, no, no. 
<laughs> so they're just kind of like precariously balanced on the desk, which is not as pizzas. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, the thought of a holiday right now is just the best thing ever. Take a look at the photos. The hotel is stunning. Where are you? What's the name of the hotel again? Kumara Saranoa by La Pesa Hotels. Not easy to say that one. <laughs> Hidden away are uh, some of the first pizzas <laughs> that we have got for Dave. Oh my god, I'm so grateful that these guys all got on board. So we've got Pizza Hut and Papa John's right there, and we're gonna surprise him with them in the first link of the show. Yay! I feel like our plan is finally coming together. This is Capital. And it's a special day. I'm really nervous and scared right now. You're up to something. Oh, maybe I've got a little <laughs> trick up my sleeve. Uh, if you haven't yet heard, oh. it's Dave's birthday. Happy birthday, Dave! Thank you very much. Another year older, oh, another year wiser. Yeah, maybe less so. <laughs> All right, you can't see this, but Dave is currently surrounded by sweeters, which are sweets in the shape of pizzas. Do you yeah. like them? Oh, it's amazing. There's yeah. balloons, there's decorations, there's yeah. photos up as well. Oh, you're very welcome. Right, well, it's because on today's show, we're having a pizza party. Because what's Yay! your favourite thing? <laughs> pizza. Pizza, pepperoni pizza as well. Yeah. Love it. Well... Pizza Hut have been delivering food to frontline NHS staff and ambulance workers with delivery throughout lockdown, doing brilliant things. And today, just for you, Dave Goodings, because yeah. they love you so much, <laughs> uh, they've sent you a pepperoni pizza feast and garlic bread <laughs> to help you celebrate your birthday. <laughs> and producer Matt, he walks into the hey. studio, it's being delivered. Oh, this is amazing. I was so worried that you'd be able to smell it before oh, we started you. talking. It <laughs> smells very strong and very delicious. Look at this. This is incredible. So we've got a pizza there. Yeah. Is it pepperoni? Yes! yes! There you go. You know me too well. Now, Dave, it's your birthday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, we've mentioned it a couple of times, and we've mentioned that you love pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you've already had some in the show today, but we didn't really want to stop there. So, Papa John's also... <laughs> wanted to get involved because clearly the pizza brands they just love you uh, so thanks so much to our friends at Papa John's oh, no. <laughs> who have sent you a double pepperoni pizza a margarita pizza bacon cheese sticks wow. potato tots with four cheeses and a tango orange chicken wow so far was it an hour ago I had a delivery from Pizza Hut yeah. now Papa John's I know I mean you, you did say you liked pizza so we took that literally what's going to happen after six o'clock Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Matt is just coming with the final lot of pizzas. Let's see. Got matching tops. Oh yeah. my god, look oh, at you go. Colour coordinated. I, know, so I, work for I look. Oh, you might as well. Look at you. If radio doesn't work out, you're sorted. <laughs> oh, please don't say that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave, have you had a nice birthday? Oh, it's been an amazing day. Honestly, I've had two lots of pizzas, there's balloons, there's banners, there's photos on the screens. Well, look, we've got one final little surprise for you, okay? Every um, time you say that, I'm getting so nervous. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to today. I promise it's only good things. So, so far, yeah, you've had pizza delivered by Pizza Hut. Yep. You've had pizza delivered by uh, Papa John's. <laughs> Apparently, Pizza Express, they love you too, Dave. I love them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I bet you do. It's mutual. <laughs> well, they have decided to send you a make your own pizza kit. This is um, they know your address and they're posting that round <laughs> next week. So the pizza party isn't just for today. Oh, thank you so much. But I didn't want to not give you a final pizza. Um, so I also just decided to spoil you personally myself. And you've got two pepperoni pizzas from Dominus too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm going to be all pizzaed out tonight. Uh, so we're in the last hour of the show, which is the sixth hour. Let's just show you how much pizza Dave has managed to acquire. Because, I mean, there's a pile on the floor already, which is quite a lot. We've just been delivered these two Domino's ones. And then what are you hiding under the desk? Got, uh, what's that pizza hut down there? Pizza hut. I haven't tried, what is it? The bacon and cheese? Strips. Yeah, you should, because you, you've not just got pizza, you've got sides as well. Great. Are you happy? <laughs> Has it been a good birthday? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. 
I realised I haven't shown you this yet, but don't worry, Dave. I'm not talking to you unless you want to get involved. I'm scared, yeah. No, you're fine. You're safe. You just keep doing what you're doing. Um, yeah, this is where I get my travel from. So Zoe, our producer, very kindly writes it for me. Um, and yeah, this is my script. And by the looks of things, currently no reports of any problems on the road. So it's a really easy travel for me. Nice. Thank you. Okay, I have good news. There are currently no reports of any problems on the roads across the South Coast, so you should have a smooth journey. Make sure if you aren't travelling for work that you are travelling for an essential reason. Otherwise, stay safe and stay home. But if you do have to travel for an essential reason, I will have another travel update for you in about 20 minutes. May I have another slice of pizza? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Thank you. Yeah. Take, take a box or give Here's it. Here's your present, Dave. You probably eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. I've done that to Miranda, oh. I, I've eaten half of it. You haven't. Please, I've done this to my mum. I'll buy like a really nice chocolate thing. Like, can I try a bit, please? Can I uh, put some past my house? Yeah. <laughs> so I only know we're at one route on the car. I'm scared of driving, so I just I can't drive and drop it off else I would. <laughs> Matt, Matt, take a photograph. You sure? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Oh, Paul Zoe. Zoe, I'll send you some of our carrier pigeon. Well, we'll send you some photos. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm not, I'm not too far. There's a route that goes into it, in and out of it quite quickly. Oh gosh, it's very dark. Shall I turn this light on? Does that make any difference? Not really. The show's done, I'm back in my car. Uh, the studio stinks of pizza, but in the best possible way. I hope you enjoyed that little like insight into what it's like. The, no, I must add as well, not all the shows are that crazy. We had a competition on today. We had like a new sell of a game that we're doing on Capital, and then we had the three different pizza delivery. So it was a little bit manic. Sometimes shows are like that. Sometimes they just get a little bit crazy and they're fun to do. And you, we always say, it's like a swan, so on the top to the listener, what they can hear, we're just kind of like gliding along underneath behind the scenes in the studio. It's like, ah, it's a bit crazy. So I hope I managed to film enough to kind of give you an idea of what it's like. Um, but yeah, really good. I'm going to drive back home now. I've got a box of pizza. Oh, I'm swaying. I've got a box of pizza uh, for Tris and myself to eat because they've very kindly uh, said, slash just admitted that he wasn't going to be able to eat it all. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to listen to this new podcast I've found. It's called Matt and Dory's Excellent Adventure. And it's about a couple over in the States that are doing IVF, which, you know, is interesting for me because Tris and myself are going to be starting that in a few months. Well, what is it now? It's nearly the end of January, beginning of March. Oh my God, almost a month. I survived the drive and back home, uh, Tris, so I've already shown him that we've got a pepperoni pizza. Um, but look what else Dave has given to us. You're gonna wanna see this. <gasps> oh my god, the little... Was it? The little sweet that is like, pizzas! That is like childhood in a little tacky box. Apparently they're oh called god. sweeters, like pizza no, sweets. There's loads of them, you can get like different things. But yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, the yeah. pizzas so well. I don't know if I ever actually had them. But I remember seeing them in the shops. <laughs> but they clearly had a really no, big effect. And being like, like, all I wanted is one of these. And mum being like, no, you can't have it. I was like, but please. What but now you? I can. Aww, well, I'm marrying you. Mm. She married Dave, really.